Hi, this is June here from protopic.co.uk. I'm here today to show you the exhibit board, our new prototyping and development system for the BBC Microbit. So what makes it special? Well, first of all the size, as you can see, this is a Microbit. It's quite a bit bigger. It breaks out all your pins, you've got pin 0 through to 9 on this side, and pin 10 up to 20 of the usable pins up the right hand side. You've got a ground here, three more grounds here, and three 3 volts here so you can hook up crop clips or banana jacks to your external devices or sensors. Up here you've got your edge connector where your micro bit goes. You've got a barrel jack connector here for power. Now this will take between 5 and 9 volts and your USB here is for power only so it won't be able to program your micro bit but it will be able to power your circuit and you've got a regulator circuit here which will bring the voltage down to 3 volts. You've also got a power switch here for the onboard power with the power indication LED and that allows you to obviously switch on or off your project. It comes with this breadboard which is already stuck down to a little bit of acrylic here which covers this. Now this is a, a perma proto board so it's basically the same as this but in a permanent format. So you can take your design from the breadboard, place them onto here and solder them and then you've got yourself a permanent installation effectively. You've got four headers here, two of them are, are ground and the other two are three volts and that's for hooking up your power and ground rails here on your breadboard and you've got ten pins here and ten pins there and these are exactly the same as here so you can hook say pin 16 to an LDR for example over here on your breadboard. You've got the pin out here on the silk screen so it tells you what each pin are, is Sorry, and the same here and it also tells you it's LED column 1, 2 or button A or button B so you know if it's used for something else as well so if you want to use for example pin 3 you'd have to switch off the LED display on your micro bit. Now it comes with this acrylic cover as well as a bit that goes on the breadboard and it comes with 4 feet and standoffs and it's got a little part here so you can write on and say a sharpie any notes you want to do about your project and on this side a bigger one plus a little asset number so if your say your school wants to write a room number on it or whatever. Now let's have a look at what you can do with the breadboard. Here we want to show you an example of a simple project using the included breadboard and how to hook it up to your micro bit. So you've got your micro bit plugged in at the top using the edge connector and we've got this breadboard here and we've got power and ground coming off these little headers going to the power and ground rail on your breadboard and you've got pin 1 and pin 2 going to the input and the output device. So this is a nice simple one with an LDR so when it gets dark the light should come on. So if I cover this up you can see the LED lights up and that's all very well and good but it's quite bulky and messy. Your wires can easily get pulled out. So once you're happy with your design if you were to switch this off and unplug these headers and we'll remove the breadboard and we've got one of our daughter boards here, this is a perma proto board so it's basically a half size breadboard in PCB format so you can simply copy over the different components put them onto this board, solder them in place and then you've got a permanent installation so just to show you, I'll switch it back on light on light off, light on, light off and obviously you could do that with whatever project you're looking for. Now this is an example of one of our project shields for it. Effectively it's a pre-manufactured board, this is a pedestrian crossing one and it'll be able to fit on top of our exhibit board like this, if I can just get it to slide in like that, there you go, and then if I switch it on it's a pedestrian crossing so it's got the red, amber, green and it's got the red man, green man and a wait button and pin 5 broken out to here and a little buzzer so you can see it's running through its sequence there. We made this board after using the micro bit for a while and finding all the other prototyping systems and development systems out there didn't do quite what we wanted. We wanted a board that was big enough that it was easily manageable in both a workshop and a classroom environment. We wanted to be able to power it from the board itself rather than plugging in and unplugging the micro bit from USB or running it off a battery. 
We wanted uh, an easy route from a breadboard prototype to a finished permanent project and above all we wanted the ability to offer low cost assembled projects that you can simply plug in and get coding for without the need to solder or handle components.